The Adama state government says all arrangements are concluded to eradicate any form of disease using routine vaccination. The executive chairman, Primary Health Development Agency, Dr. Suleiman Seydou, disclosed this during a press briefing in Yola, where he said the ministry is working tirelessly to curb the menace. Gathered in this hall are health professionals. This time around, they are here to discuss ways on how to bring to an end all forms of diseases through immunization. The executive chairman of the agency said they are all working hand in hand with their partners in the state to support the government in overcoming health challenges in the state. The chairman also says the agency will not relent in fighting against all forms of diseases that will be of great challenge to the state. Meaning that there are so many diseases that can be prevented effectively and efficiently using vaccine technologies. Vaccination is an established cost-effective strategy for disease control, and this role of vaccine is increasingly becoming central in the control of many diseases. Just recently, the agency has joined the race of the world to roll out COVID-19 vaccination in Adamawa State. So far, we have vaccinated 29,205 persons, and we are still counting comprising of frontline health workers, other frontline workers, strategic leaders, as well as intending pilgrims. This is to underscore the new addition to the multiple or known established rules of vaccination in disease control. Some of the partners who participated in the gathering said they are ready to always support the state government so as to achieve its target goal. They, however, appealed to the Adamawa parents to cooperate with the health authorities and agencies in ensuring that the awards get the immunisation as at when due. The ICRC has been working with the agency since 2015, supporting its immunisation programmes through logistics and the mobilisation of the communities. For the past three years, the ICRC, in partnership with the agency and the Swiss Tropical and Public Health Institute, TPH, developed a decision-making tool for the detection of illnesses in children under five. This innovative tool, uh, currently in use of in almost 400 primary health uh, care centers, helps healthcare workers provide standardized examinations for children, which provide better diagnosis, better explanation of, for the patients and caregivers on the outcomes, and better knowledge for the proper use of treatment. Uh, WHO partners and individuals around the world and indeed Nigeria will unite to increase trust and confidence in vaccines to maintain or increase vaccine acceptance. They will, in will increase investment in vaccines, including routine immunization, to remove the barriers to access to vaccines. We must ensure that all missed children for routine immunizations are covered. In celebrating this year's African Vaccination Week in Adamawa. I want to, on behalf of UNICEF, uh, reiterate our continuous support to the states in all aspects to strengthen immunization services and also all other interventions uh, through the UNICEF and MSCH uh, project, especially. Uh, in Nigeria, uh, malaria, which is also a uh, focus uh, in this uh, year's uh, celebration. It is expected that at the end of this gathering, all health workers will be fully trained and ready to immunize children in Adamawa State. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.